All right, guys. We tried with the with the MacBook, but that didn't work. So now we're we're going with the phone. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get a better live stream setup. I'll figure it out. You know, it's just I've never uh, done the live stream stuff before. I'm sorry about the attempt and disconnect. What's up? What's up? Good seeing all you guys again. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Impossible Burger battle. That thing was unbelievable. Tasted exactly like a Whopper. Totally cool. Hopefully the image is better now. Maybe a little crooked, but... <laughs> mm. Chat is disabled. It's not disabled over here. I'm getting I'm getting chat messages now. No, nope, yep, it's working. I'm seeing chat. Yeah, Liz, I uh, um, tried to use a different software to do it. I thought I could use Streamlabs, but you can't do Streamlabs on a Mac. You can only do it on an iOS device. So eventually I'm going to get an iPad. I may start doing, I may do streams with that. Might be a little easier, but right now I have to use my phone. <clears throat> what about the chips? That's true. Okay, so we got some funky chips. Mystery guest picked these up. First one I got is hers grilled cheese and tomato soup chips. <laughs> All right. Now the next one I got is hers deep dish pizza. Deep dish pizza chips. I imagine these might be like... Actually, these aren't even chips. These are grilled cheese and tomato soup cheese curls. And these are... Oh, these are cheese curls. I thought they were chips. They're cheese curls. Wow. So, yeah, we're going to try them both. And then uh, I was at a party. What's up, mystery guest? Good to see you. Mystery guest has a cold. So everybody... You know, think good thoughts, and maybe her call will go away quick. Um, I was at a party uh, for a birthday party, and I ran into some people that were eating these things called wisps. Wisps. Asiago and pepper jack cheese crisps. All right? So these are like uh, one gram of carbs. So these are kind of keto or low carb. What's up, Freddy? And then we got bacon barbecue cheese crisps. Freddy, fam, 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 Freddy's famous food reviews. It's your boy that likes chips ahoy. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Hopefully she will get better soon. Plenty of drugs. What's up, Freddy? Freddy Freddy's channel's taking off. He's cranking, he's kicking butt. <clears throat> you guys haven't been to Freddy's channel? I'm sure most of you have. But if you haven't, go check it out. Have you guys, uh, so what do you guys think of the new food challenge videos that I've been doing? A lot of people have given me some good compliments on those. Uh, I just wanted to try some di something, something different, a little variety. And... Uh, Thought it would be cool. All right, so since there's enough people here now, we got eight. Let's try the hers grilled cheese and tomato soup cheese curls. They smell cheesy. So here's grilled cheese 
and tomato soup. Thanks, Freddie. I appreciate it. Mmm. Yeah, that's weird. They're like cheesy and then kind of tangy like a tomato soup. Bear's over here. He wants one. I'm not going to give him one. I gave him plenty of treats. He got sick the other day. Thank you, the sassy. Seven, seven, seven. You're pretty okay, too. These are bad. If you guys haven't tried them, I think we got these. Hmm. Where do we get these? Mystery guest, if you remember, recall where we picked these up. Let me know. I forget. But they're good. I think she... No, I don't know. Five below. That's right. We got them at five below. Who knew five below had food, too? Oh. Definitely. Definitely. So what are you guys doing this week? Anything fun? Anybody doing anything cool? I'm working. <laughs> Over the weekend, what did we do? I watched some Cubs. Um, let's see. We're getting the kids ready for school. Get some school shopping. Getting the kids ready for uh, band camp and band practice. Five Below in Buffalo, New York has tons of snacks. Only reason for going. Boom. Mind blown. <laughs> I did not know that. All right. Deep dish pizza. Cheese curls. Let's try these out. Yeah. Editing. It is fun. These are pretty good. These are pretty good, too. I don't know. Snack King Cole, how's it going, man? Lays has got the, um, the Giordano's chips. I've tried those. Those are pretty good. Went on a hike for three hours. Hiking is against my religion. What's up, Charlie? Actually, I kid. Hiking shouldn't be against my religion, but right now it is because it hurts too much. A nice leisurely walk would be a better start for me. <laughs> These are okay. I mean, they're good. They taste like Cheetos, but they don't really taste that much like pizza to me. But they're pretty good. Right, mystery guys. She had the shock face. At the three, three hour hike. Mm. You know what's cool about the live streams is people chat and they just chat with each other. And I'm just sitting here watching chat. <laughs> right, Bear? Right? They have bacon wrapped jalapeno lays. No, I've had those. Those are pretty good. Pretty good. What's up, Bobby? Yeah, that, that uh, software I was using on the old MacBook, it was not a winner. We're going to keep, I'm going to keep trying to figure out a better way to do it. Definitely. Mm. You guys like my water tank? We're going through water like crazy right now because uh, my daughter drinks water like a fish and my son with his uh, band camp or band practice that he does every day now, uh, they have him bring jugs of water because it's like hot. So we're just going through like tons of Nestle water. Three new lays in Canada next week. Uh, I am drinking diet a and W no diet yeah diet A and W root beer. 
It is delicious. And there's no caffeine in A&W. I don't know if people didn't know that. No caffeine. It's good at night because then you go to bed and you're like, uh, all dressed chips from Canada are way good. They had the all dressed ones here last year. Those were good. They were like barbecue. Oh, speaking of my P.O. Box, uh, I got an email the other day from Nutter Butter. <laughs> that was awesome. Not an email. I got a, a message, a DM on Instagram from Nutter Butter saying that they're, uh, they're going to send me some swag. And so they're going to send it to my P.O. Box. So I got to check out my P.O. Box in the next couple days and see what I get. It's probably going to be a shirt that's really tight. Because they usually never fit. Pizza, onion rings, and cheesy garlic bread. Oh, those will be good. Yeah, the A&W Ripper is awesome. I love Nutter Butter, too. Way to go. That, that, that was, I was excited. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys realize, uh, you guys ever heard of Fat Boy Ice Cream? They sent me a letter uh, or an email, uh, and they, they, are gonna, they sent me these coupons, and I'm going to do a Fat Boy Ice Cream review sometime in the near future. I have to go to the store with the coupons and buy them. I couldn't find all the products I wanted, but they just told me, buy whatever I can. Yeah, Barks has the caffeine mystery, guys. That's right. So we're going to have Fat Boy Ice Cream Review pretty soon. And we'll definitely have to throw another Nutter Butter in there if they're going to give me net, gonna give me shirts or stickers or whatever it is they're going to be sending. That's going to be cool. They told me that whatever they sent, they can't guarantee size. So I didn't even bother telling them the size. I just said, yeah, sure, send it. Whatever, whatever you send, uh, maybe I'll make John wear it or something. <laughs> yeah. Fat Boy's kind of a funny story. We used to go to we, we go to Sam's Club all the time to shop. By the way, I'm opening the bacon barbecue cheese crisps. By these are wisps. We also found these at Five Below. Exactly, snacking Cole. The kids can wear it if I can't. Um, and uh, we go to the Sam's Club and they got the Fat Boy um, ice cream sandwiches there. And that's like the running joke, you know. The one time. I saw him the first time, and my, you know, and my wife says, "Hey, you want to get some fat boy ice creams? You could eat those." And I said, "I said no, I'm fat enough, you know." And then every time we go there, now it's this thing: you want to get fat boy, you know. So then when they sent me an email, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, "That's awesome!" If oh, the, if what's gonna taste artificial? This? Yeah, I'm just squishy. Like my uncle used to say, I'm in perfectly great shape for the shape I'm in. Tell us about that sweet wallet you whisp out for us today. <laughs> okay. So I got this wallet. It's like a little, I don't know. I don't have it with me. It's, um, it holds the cards and you, and they slide in and then you pull a little strap and some cards slide this way and some cards slide this way. Then you just pull out the card you want, and you pay. These are pretty good, man. Let's see. The wallet, ugh. <laughs> Bear, you go. I'm not giving you these. Okay, you can have a cheese crisp. Here you go. Try that. Bear says bacon cheese crisps. He's digging them. Pretty good gluten free 10 grams of protein they're not they're not like the most bacony flavor though they have some bacon flavor hit you on the back end i don't know these are the asiago pepper jack cheese crisps now i think these here stop licking my leg dude these are pretty good I tried these at the party. Mm. Yeah, he's got a kick. Bear is an ox, but he's a good ox. He's a good dog. He's just a little um, rambunctious, you know, in the sense that 
He likes to eat drywall. And he likes to chew wood, woodwork. You know. He likes to jump into the sewer. But he's not a mean dog. The Parmesan ones are better than the cheddar ones. Peanut butter checks. You review. What, what did that say? Yeah, those are awesome, aren't they? Those peanut butter checks are killer. They're really good. They're like I would say, as far as peanut butter cereals go, they're like my second second favorite peanut butter cereal after Captain Crunch peanut butter. Speaking of that, I went downstairs and. The, uh, we have a box of Captain Crunch peanut butter in the basement that we haven't opened yet. I need to tear into that. We have so much cereal in the house from all the reviews that it takes a while to get to it. Yeah, remember we bought that three pack of Captain Crunch cereal? Regular Captain Crunch, peanut butter, and something else. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, boy. <laughs> the mystery guest. You funny. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We got that downstairs, too. <laughs> we have all the cereal we buy, and then I get the review cereal, and then I never eat the stuff we buy. Chocolate peanut butter pops. Nutter butter is better. Nutter butter cereal is really good. Yeah, tonight's dinner is going to be cereal. Cereal. It's not just for breakfast. What other YouTubers do I watch? Um, I watch, uh, let's see, I watch Freddy. I watch Dame Drops. I watch that guy, that Report of the Week. I watch Joey, obviously. Um, I watch, uh, who else, who else, who else, who else? Um, I watch... Uh, Lately, I've been watching that that uh, Chelsea Lynn. The <laughs> she's nuts. You know what I'm talking about? She's like uh, hillbilly something. Uh, she, uh, I watched. She she did a video with Donnie Baker, which was hysterical. Um, yeah, she's crazy, but but really funny. I, I mean, I know that it's, that's got to be an act. It can't be real. I mean, it's got to be somewhat real, but it's got to be an act. Of course, dude. I watch you all the time. Junk Food Junction. I watch... Um, oh, Hillbilly uh, Wine Reviews. I watch from time to time. I don't watch as many of his videos as I used to because sometimes the stuff he does, uh, I'm not into anymore. But like he does the coffee ones. I like those. I would love to do a collab with that Chelsea Lynn. She's hysterical. She cracks me up. If she ever come to Chicago, I'd like to... Oh, you know what I watch? I watch that Healthy Junk Food, H-E-L-T-H-Y or H-E-L-L-T-H-Y. Yes, I watch you guys too. <clears throat> There's so many. It's just... Lately, though, I've been watching a lot of car... Car video, car review videos, because I want to, I want to try to get a new vehicle soon, and I've been uh, a little obsessed, right, Mystery Guest? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, she's, oh yeah, she's so hot. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Julia. Julia Childs. It is not Orange Coke. It is A and W root beer. What time is it? Nine oh six. So what else can we talk about? Julia cooks for, oh, for healthy junk food. Yeah, yeah. Their videos are hilarious. I, I like their videos. They do some crazy stuff. They have a good chemistry together. I also watched that guy, uh, Mark 
Weans, I think it is. He, he does a lot of videos in Asia. I just like the video quality. I like to learn things from other people's videos and see if I can replicate some of it in my videos. But, you know, I watch JKM Crave. I watch, uh, what's that guy? Um, food, food Dip. What's up? I watched that outlaw, outlaw guy. Oh, uh, Conrail Connoisseur. Let, he's he's awesome. That dude's great. <clears throat> Do I shovel myself or use a snowblower? During snowstorms, I sometimes will shovel if it's light. Like if it's not a real, like worth the effort of digging out the snowblower, which sometimes is a pain, then I just shovel. You know, sometimes it's almost quicker to shovel. But when it's like pretty significant snow, snow blower all the way. Because sometimes, you know, it's dangerous to shovel the snow if you, if you do too much. Oh, man. No notifications and figures. YouTube's going to... YouTube's going to YouTube, I guess. Yeah, sorry, I, I started the first one, and it was not good video. I was using my old MacBook, and I was trying to see if I could do it on the Mac, and it just didn't work out right, so I had to switch back to my phone. Uh, I'll try to get this situated better. I'll try to get this situated better um, the next time. You know, I'm, i got to figure out a better way to do this. Uh, you may f see, like, some trial runs. <laughs> Big day live stream, and then he's gone. Do, 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 do. Anybody watch any good videos lately on YouTube? Anyone see anything that's interesting? Oh, thank you, Bear. <laughs> I said that, and he snorted. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I don't eat a lot of Pop-Tarts anymore. I, I used to eat them more, but I don't eat that much. And if I let John shovel, it'll it'll never get done. <laughs> I watch Pootie Pie sometimes. Lately, he's been doing a lot of Minecraft stuff, but he cr cracks me up because he's just weird. Are you going to do videos other than food reviews or just do food reviews? Well, funny you should mention that. So lately, I'm doing I'm doing food reviews, and I'm doing the food battles where you have one food against another food to see which one is better. Um, but lately I have given some thought to doing, <laughs> yeah, I know you want to have John shovel, right? Uh, well, it'll never get done. Uh, lately I've been given some thought to doing product reviews. Uh, I'm not quite sure what products, maybe like as seen on TV products or products that have to do with food or cooking, um, something cool. The problem with product reviews is you got to pay for them to review them. You got to either someone's got to give you some <coughs> or you got to have them already or you got to buy them. Now, I know there's some cheap things I can find. I can review like on Wish and stuff. Like that. I'm not going to review underwear. No. <laughs> that is weird. Why would you even suggest that? This underwear is Fruit of the Loom. It's very nice. <laughs> no. <clears throat> John has a very, um, socks. Oh, yes. What's with the weird socks and underwear? That's what I get for Christmas every year. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I, 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 I kind of did a little psych. I was like, psych, try this one. Yeah, I, I, I screwed up on the first uh, stream. Sorry. Um, oh, John, he likes to eat. Uh, John is a very picky uh, palate. So you'll notice that he doesn't do a lot of the videos where the foods are strange or odd. Um, but he likes ice cream. He likes uh, chicken nuggets. He likes burgers. He likes ch um, cookies. <laughs> gumballs. No, the gumballs got swapped out for M&M's. Toe fungus creams? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I 
I don't have toe fungus. He can't live on ice cream and cookies. No, he doesn't. He lives on chicken nuggets and burgers and pizza. Chicken nuggets, burgers, and pizza. He's got a very, very, uh, he's a very picky eater. What's white at White Mall? What? I don't know what she said. Oh yeah, he's got braces too. So he can't he can't eat anything too chewy. Like he can't have like gum and caramel. Yeah, you like that? Toe fungus. Uh, I know I'll 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 uh, I'll review nose hair trimmers and ear hair trimmers because I'm getting old so I have I have to deal with that all the time. <laughs> if you guys want really weird stuff. Q tips. These Q-tips get a lot of wax out of my ears. Ah. No, we'll figure something out. What's up, Dusk? Who mystery guest is awesome? I I have glasses. Cubs win. Cubs did win today. It was like a flip-flop. Yesterday was a disaster. It was the worst inning I've ever seen John Lester pitch. <laughs> I felt bad for him after a while. I started laughing. I was born in 69. 69. Uh, the year I was born, I was like a little baby sitting on my mom's lap when they walked on the moon. Ooh. That's how old I am. I still recall when you could make a call with the phone on the wall. And they had the big, big brick cell phone. I am not mad at you at all. I've never been mad at you. I don't know why you think I'm mad at you. Never was, never have been. I don't get mad that easy. <laughs> yes, I am old. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. So. There's a place in Chicago. It's called Weber Bakery. I don't like cake all that much. But there's a place in Chicago named Weber Bakery. They have a cake called an atomic cake. It's actually not called an atomic cake. It's called some kind of tort. But everybody calls it atomic cake. And it's a, it's like a chocolate cake. with a, And there's a layer of yellow cake. But in between is like bananas and strawberries. And the whole thing's covered with whipped cream. It is unbelievable really great cake for my 50th banana tort that's it we went out to dinner but i forgot where we went where did we go to dinner i forget we went somewhere yes mystery guest is a big she's a cake fanatic she loves cake I cannot come over and help you hang a flat screen. I don't know how to do that. I w you would not want me to do anything in your home that requires tools. You know, I'm, 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 I'm very unhandy when it comes to stuff like that. You know, you want me to write you a program on a computer? I can do that. Make you a video? I can do that. But hang a flat screen? No. Oh. Maybe he is. <laughs> Do a collab with Winston Churchill. I don't think he's around anymore. If he's around, though, I'd do a collab with him. We have, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And grilled cheese and tomato soup cheese girls. Yes. I don't know if I don't know if Winston Churchill sounded like that, but <laughs> you guys are crazy. That's what I program in .NET. I'm a C sharp .NET developer. I'm certified in C sharp .NET. Yes. Oh yeah. .NET. Yeah. Yeah. I was programming in the 2000s in .NET. 
That is how old I am. I was actually, I started off writing COBOL. Yes. Feel free to tell your wife I said hello. For sure. Never worked on Kleinstar. I don't even know what that is. I worked in, I did COBOL programming on a tandem mainframe when I first got out of college. And then I started working in VB3, then VB5, then VB6. Then I got laid off in 2001 when 9-11 happened. And then I jumped into .NET. Thanks to a company called Avanade, which was owned by Accenture. They're a consulting firm. They're still around. They're a big company. <laughs> well, that... I don't think that's true, but tell your son he's all right. But he's all right in my book. <laughs> Some. What's up, Reaper Shroud? Hello. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, no, we do SQL Server. By the way, guys, in case you don't know, SQL Server is a database. Oracle DB is also a database. I cannot be anyone's hero for just eating food. But tell them I said thanks and I'm flattered. <laughs> you know, yeah, we are. We do have a sarcasm like that. We do kind of have a sarcasm like that. There's a lot of sarcasm in our, in our house. <laughs> I was thinking more like King of Queens. We're definitely more like King of Queens. King of Queens, right, mystery guest? Shuddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kevin James is hilarious. He's a st he's pretty funny comedy. But how did I get the name Big Daddy? Um so I I used to have this shirt that that I used to wear. It's called uh Big Daddy. It was like Big Daddy and on the back said Live in Large. And people started calling me Big Daddy whenever I wore the shirt. And at first I thought it was kind of weird, but then after a while I thought it was kind of funny. So then I just started calling myself that. Like when my, when the mystery guest would call I on the phone, I'd say, hello, Big Daddy on the road. And I just thought it was kind of cool. And then people at work started calling me that. And then I, I started doing, uh, I, when I decided to do the channel, I thought, oh, Big Daddy's World. But originally the channel was supposed to be more than just food reviews. It was supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff. But the food reviews were what was helping it grow. So I kind of stuck with the food reviews. Let's see here. Movie reviews. <laughs> Who is Stewie. Is that like from Family Guy or something? <clears throat> Steve. No, that, that's from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, movie reviews would be kind of cool, Mystery Guest. That would be kind of fun, too. I, I started off doing that, too. The only thing that worries me about movie reviews is I worry about giving away spoilers. I'd have to make sure I give everybody spoiler alerts. Yeah, I know everybody can relate. The problem with food is, as you can see, I'm not getting any smaller. <laughs> and sometime in the future, I may have to reconfigure the channel a little. I don't know. We'll see. Everything's spicy. No, I'd like to, ch I should check that out. Oh, you didn't suggest? Oh, I thought someone else did. Okay. Hello, yeah. Hello, children of Yeshua, risen Savior. Hello. 
you ever think you can make it to 100K? Man, Reaper Shroud, I really hope so. I think it's possible, but I think I need to have some good luck. You know, what's my favorite food? Well, I have several favorite foods. I would say pizza is my favorite food. Pizza for sure. Um, and then I would say after pizza, um, burgers. Halloween. The kids were getting dressed up for Halloween uh, quite a bit um, every year, but... Uh, I don't, I don't know how long they're going to keep doing that, you know. They're, they are getting older. John is in high school, and my daughter's in junior high. So, I mean, eventually, I'm sure they'll want to keep doing it for a little while. But, yeah, Halloween's pretty, pretty fun. Let's see. 100K be, would be videos daily, live streams weekly. Pizza from a chain or a local place? Um, I like pizza from, uh, I like pizza from a chain and a local place. I have a favorite local place, which is a place in, uh, for deep dish pizza. I have favorites for different types of pizza. Like for deep dish pizza, if I want a local place, I go to a place in Romeoville called Fat Ricky's. They make killer deep dish. Uh, I know the owner, Ricky, he's, he's a real nice guy. They also have great burgers too. Uh, but their deep dish pizza, by far, is my favorite. For thin crust pizza in my area, I go to a place called Vita Bella. Um, for chain pizza, my favorite would be Jets. And if I want a Chicago, or if I want a New York style pizza in this area, I go to a place in Naperville called Little Pops Pizzeria. Um, so yeah, and it's a local place too. But the guy's from New York, and he makes really killer uh, New York style pizza. No, I do not like pineapple on pizza. Although I have tried it because, I, you know, you kind of have to try it with when you're trying stuff. Um, but uh, I have tried it. Have I broken any bones? Yeah, I broke my left arm when I was five. I broke my right leg when I was a freshman in high school. Papa John's or Dom what did you say? Or Domino's or Pizza Hut or McDonald's or Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, Taco Bell. Oh, and Lou Melnati's for more of a Chicago chain. What's up, prudent gal? No jets out this way. Yeah, number six of cheese reviews them a lot. I love jets. They're great. Uh, fish or seafood? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, yeet. My daughter says that a lot. I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's... Hey, Riley. Yeah? What does yeet mean? It doesn't mean anything? Is it like okay? No. Is it like cool? No. Okay, I, apparently, according to Riley, yeet doesn't mean a darn thing. What does it mean? You know what? Yeet is totally lit. No. Riley <laughs> goes, no, never. <clears throat> That's another one. It's totally lit. You can't use totally and lit. Because totally is like from the 80s and lit is like the new, like, cool, I think. I don't know. Yeet, Stan, ship. I'm too old to keep up with the lingo. You aren't getting the answer. It's like when you get excited and you go, yeet. Yeet equals Gucci? Mm, not maybe, I don't know. But doesn't Gucci mean Gucci? I don't have... You know what else? I, I, the other one I like is if someone does something a little crazy, they're a bit extra. That's another one. They're extra. 
Someone's a pain in the ass. Extra pain in the ass. <laughs> we, uh, I prefer an artificial Christmas tree, unfortunately, sorry. Uh, only because the real ones get dried out and they die and the pines go everywhere. And then you're picking up, you're picking pine needles out of your feet for like two months, you know. So we got an artificial one. In fact, we have to get a new tree because the one we had is, uh, yeah, it's also not good for the dog. We, the one we had died, so we have to get a new one. All right. What's up, John? Little John's in the car. What's it? Yeah, sorry about that. I was late getting started. I had to help uh, get stuff packed up for John's uh, band camp he's going to. No. Uh, I will not be paid to attend anyone's party. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. Maybe in the future I'll do like, I'll get paid to do appearances, but not right now. Yeah. My favorite kind of soup, creamy chicken rice. Beowulf! Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That'll help, that'll help pay for it. <laughs> Can you send me a pair of dress shoes? Uh, yeah, size size 11 extra wide. I don't work at Fry's. My, that's one of my favorite stores, though. What's up, John? John is on the live stream. How was, how was band? Did I play? I tried... I played sports. Uh, weird question. Have you ever heard of David? Was it Paul Eath missing now? One interviews on YouTube, mostly coast to coast YouTube channel. He's written about four or five book of unsolved experiences. No, I have not. Dame Drops is awesome. Uh, he's one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. Used to love that super up this show. We should definitely do that cookie dough blast, John. Um, what was the question someone asked me before? I, I, I don't want to forget it. Uh, I did play sports in high school. Uh, I played baseball when I was a kid in Little League. And uh, in high school, I tried out, but I didn't make it because I couldn't run. I was too slow. But uh, I could pitch and I could hit. I just couldn't run. Um I just took eight tacos from Jack in the Box to the face. Nice, nice. I don't know who's throwing tacos at you, but that ain't cool. Did you make a coll a collab with Joey's World? Yeah, I had a collab with Joey's World Tour. And, uh, <laughs> yes, Jort's World Tour. I had a collab with him a while back. I want to make another one. Uh, he's just a very, very busy man. Very busy man. Favorite Wendy's item. Uh, my favorite Wendy's item. I would say the bacon, uh, the, be the Baconator. Yeah, the double Baconator. That's one of my favorites. I've, I've yet to try Wendy's breakfast. He is not, Joey's World Tour is not jealous of me. He's got 400K, 400,000 subscribers. There's no way that man is jealous of me. He's Besides, he's a really nice guy. Joey's a sweetheart. I am not a plumber. Not at all. I'm a computer programmer. Yeah, I've done a couple Chick-fil-A reviews. <laughs> My hands are kind of big. Yeah, uh, no, unfortunately, no. <laughs> John's like, no, he isn't. Yeah, they don't do breakfast in Chicago much either. I think there might be one place that has it. Yeah, the the Wendy's Cookie Sunday was really good.
All right, I have been warned. <laughs> What's up, Bobby? New York, you're from New York, Bobby? I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I would suggest anyone who has an interest in going into computers to do so. I mean, it, it's 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 one of the easiest way. I mean, not easy, but it's one of the most the one of the industries with the most jobs. I mean, I I haven't had a a, a recent resume online. I'm from I'm from Chicago. I haven't had a re recent resume online in years. And I still uh, get calls all the time. Yeah, I'm from Chicago. I, I've been to Michigan a few times. I got some uh, relatives who have property up there. But <clears throat> Chicago, Chicago, that toddling zone. Good night. Home cooking. I love it when food reviews throw those in. Yeah, I had some cooking uh, a little while back, the Cooking with Big Daddy series. I did those when I was doing the Nothing But Pizza and Nothing But Burgers, and also with the, uh, when I was doing some low-carb stuff. I've been to Riccobeni once. Uh, th that one sandwich they have there, um, it, wasn't the, it wasn't my favorite, um, but I've been there once. As far as computers go, I would say, you know, definitely, I don't know what, how old you are. If you're in college, take it. In college, if you're in high school, take it in high school. And then look into, like, doing, uh, um, I would say, you know, if you can do it, do app development. Because uh, a lot of people do apps, do, or do Windows. Windows development is still very popular. There's a lot of companies that are still looking for .NET developers. Um, it's, <clears throat> it's very prevalent still. Java, JavaScript. Bear, get down. You could do C sharp. Yep. Right, John. John knows how to program in C sharp. He's a genius, man. Bear, get off that couch. Crazy dog. All right, well, you know, guys, uh, we've been going for almost an hour. Sushi reviews. Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. I might have to do a, oh my God, I ate sushi. I, I, you know, when it comes to sushi, I kind of I eat baby sushi. And what I mean by that is I'll eat like the California roll or I'll eat the crab roll that's already got the pre-cooked crab in it. But I've never really gotten into trying the actual sushi like sashimi or nigiri or any of those. I like to eat, man. I, that's what made me start. I like to eat. I like to find good things I like and tell people about it. So that's why. Okay, you could you should turn it off. You're getting uh, we're getting feedback now. Nope. Hello. <laughs> John's back. I'm home. But you know what? All right, we'll we'll definitely do some sushi pretty soon. I, I gotta. I gotta I'm gonna try it out. Some All right. We're going to log off because uh, Mystery Guest and John are back, and uh, we haven't eaten dinner yet. So we're going to log off, guys. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, checking out the live yeah. stream. And we'll definitely do more live streams very soon. Thanks, Bye. guys. See you later. Bye.